Hello everyone, it's Analytics Sage. Today is Monday, 28th of September 2020, and I'm having a look at the oil market. So let's go to the daily chart and have a quick look at what happened in the big picture after the massive crash we observed in April, March. We started a bullish five wave rally, which was completed. I have checked all the FIBO ratios and dimensionality of the structure. So I'm quite sure about the structure I'm presenting to you in this video. So the five wave sequence is finished. We had an ending diagonal <clears throat> and then we are on the correction of the wave four. In my opinion, we still need one more wave up to finish this complete sequence because you can see we have one, two, wave three, and the wave five is should terminate somewhere near here. So I'm expecting a correction and then another uptrend to finish the wave five. And then after here, probably we will see another crash. So let's go to the hourly chart to see what is happening right now in the correction. So we had a quite strong uh, downtrend, which I've labeled here, labeled it here as wave E. The wave B is complete, and in my opinion, we are in wave C. So what I'm expecting for wave C is something like this. So if I want to draw everything, you had a wave A, you had a wave B, and in my opinion, we are in wave C. But for the wave C, as you can see here, the wave C itself is actually composed of some other substructures. One, two, and three. The question is, when is this let me when is this smaller b wave is going to finish if we have a quick look at the structure which has happened which is uh, being constructed here you can see we have a small wave one which i will draw here as let me delete this for better understanding so you have the wave one this is the wave one and then you have the wave B. The wave B itself is composed of a zigzag, which I've labeled it W, X, and then an ending diagonal. So the structure you observe here, probably in my opinion, is going to be an ending diagonal, means the trend lines will converge something like this, somehow here. The A and the C legs of the structure are confirmed of check them so they should be quite correct now we need a d and a e the problem with d and a e is that uh, they can even become shorter than usual so what will happen probably in this market should look something like this you should have a d wave and then you can have a e wave and then from here you will go all the way down this is one possibility the other possibility is that we can name here as a D and then we will have a E somewhere here and then we will crash. In both scenarios, you have to wait until this market breaks this trend channel. Let me delete this. This trend channel. Sorry. This trend channel needs to be broken. You can short oil when the trend channel gets broken.